Hey guys, it's Grunt Boy, and welcome back to another Power Rangers Dino Supercharge recap. So this episode is called Forgive and Forget. And it makes stuff happen very quickly. Or at least that's what I thought at the beginning. You'll see. So it starts a scene where Heckle's in the diner, and he's just showing what a true jerk he is. He steals a little kid's freaking ice cream. It's a little kid, man. And he puts it down in the girl's seat just as he's about to sit on it. Heckle equals jerk face. And while Riley is serving people, he comes across his old school bully. Because Power Rangers has never used that before as a plot at all. And so the bully's messing around, calling him Brainiac, because he was the smartest kid in school. And and Jim, he Riley would always try and keep up with the bully, but he never could do it. But now he's thinking, well, hey, I got this power source, a green energy gem here, so why don't I use its power to finally show my bully what for? So he challenges him to an arm wrestling contest. Competition? I don't know how you say that. I'm not hip. So he tries to use the inner gem's powers, and he's almost about to do it, and then Kendall's just like, Riley! Oh, oh, yeah. I've seen that a lot in shows, too. And Kendall is all like, this is no time to be horsing around. Get to work! <laughs> I'm... You guys can tell I'm not trying to do a good impression of Kendall. Metal. <clears throat> and... I didn't say it before, but Heckle actually works at the restaurant now, so he's there, and that's why he was at the diner in the first freaking place. But then, uh, that tattoo on his neck circle, and he's like, oh crap, Snide's taking control. So he says, hey Chase, I saw this hot girl outside that said that your accent's hot. And he's like, see you later. And so then he turns back into Snide, and instead of Heckle talking to him on that pocket watch, Snide talks to him through his sword, which apparently has this thing he moves. And so, Snide gets an idea. Fury is back, and they bring back one of their old villains, Steenrage. And they brought him back because uh, they updated his Venom. So instead of turning them against each other like he did in the episode he was introduced... Now his Venom can make you completely forget who you are. And so Snide thinks, if we give the Rangers this, they forget who they are, we take the Energy Gems, we win! Back at the Power Rangers secret base, Kendall creates the Dino Super Drive. And that reminds me of Dino Super Charge, which I said in my first live video, I think is a really stupid name. But looking beyond that, it's supposed to amplify their Megazord's power. I thought, are we going to get a new Megazord combination? That's what it seems like. And so then, right, then it cuts off to Riley at this place he always exercises at. The bully happens to be there, of course. He's like, you can't do anything. You're no good. And Riley's just like, oh yeah? See that wall climbing thing over there? I challenge you to see who can go over it. And so he once again tries to use his energy and power, but because... He wasn't prepared for it. He actually ends up jumping and lands in a tree. Just like his stomach's like... Bruh! The guy wins. He's just like... Where'd Squirt go? Don't matter. I'm the best. I'm the best. D do any of you remember that thing? I'm the best. I don't know why. I just, I just thought of it. And so then Heckle's... <coughs> Heckle shows up out of nowhere. He's like... Oh, that guy's a jerk. But he actually says... Isn't that guy too big for his britches? I'm just like, dude, nobody says that anymore. Unless you're smart. I don't know. So he says, alright, this guy's a jerk to you, isn't he? And Riley's just like, yeah, wish I could show him. Oh, isn't that guy going to be in that marathon, you say? Well, why don't you join and teach him a lesson that he'll never forget. He didn't have that smile, but he said it in a way that's just like he's thinking evil. And Riley's just like, yeah, I gotta do this. Before he can do anything, Steam Rage attacks. And so Heckle runs for cover, and Riley goes up to fight him because he's a Power Ranger, of course. 
And Heckle didn't know about this. It wasn't planned or anything. So he's that Pudge Watch. He's like, ah, dang you. Or darn you. I don't know. Darn you, Snide. This is not the plan. Snide's just like, yours take forever. Now I'm joining the fight. Or something like that. I don't know. So basically, Snide is kind of like the little kid. Just like, ah, you take forever. And so during the fight, Riley's about to get hit by one of Stinrage's amnesia darts, I'll call them. And Heckle actually jumps in the way and gets hit by one. So the other rangers show up to fight the monster. He escapes. And then Heckle doesn't remember who he is. And so they take him to their secret base to bring the antidote. You couldn't have just, I don't know, just had him outside and then got the antidote, ran back out. I don't know, just seems better than taking him into the base where you work. With all your secret technology and stuff that you make to sell toys and, and stuff. And so they give him the antidote and Heckle's eye on the energy just like, yeah. Yeah. Not the time. No, 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 no. But now I know where it is. I'm coming back. And so now the plan is that Fury takes Steam Rage to the bridge. And they actually put Steam Rage's venom water into the lake. So anybody who drinks the water, in the city of course, will have the amnesia. Will have the amnesia. And so they even say, drink lots of water. Which, I they probably didn't plan that, but you know, just like, it's emphasizing they're going to drink water. So realizing in the race and he's going to, he's thinking about using the inner gym, just like, nah, I'm a ranger. I'm going to be fair and square. So he's second place next to that bully and they're going yeah and then the bully grabs some water he's like chug chug but then he's just like oh where am i where am i so the other rangers also drink the water and they forget who they are and so uh coda runs into heckle and heckle's like no i'm your friend give me your energy gem so he is this close to getting the blue energy gem but then Riley just runs by and he's like, oh, thanks, Heckle, and runs off. So none of them have the energy gems. He gives them the antidote, and then they're all fine. And they stop people from drinking milk. They spray the bully with the antidote. His friend's like, dude, you were all whacked. And they, they actually said whacked. But clearly I'm not hip enough to say whack. So I'm just going to say, dude, you had no idea where you were, and that guy just sprayed you in the face, and then all of a sudden, you... Are are back to normal. And the bully actually has gratitude. So that Riley's trying to convince this one guy, dude, don't drink the water. It'll make you forget yourself. And he's like, dude, that sounds like something in a kid's show. Or Power Rangers or something. Give it in here. And the bully just goes up, hey, this guy is smart. Skadoosh. <laughs> Reminds me of Kung Fu Ben. Just like, imagine Poe doing that. Just like, don't drink water. Skadoosh. Which is funny, because Kung Fu Panda was also, like, they had a TV show that was on Nickelodeon. And so, I'm thinking too much into this. They didn't say skadoosh, I said skadoosh. My brain is, well, it's whack. We get a whack. <laughs> so everybody else has the antidote. So Kendall takes the Plesiozord to drop it all over the town. And Fury and Steen Ridge go back to the bridge and like, pff, fine. You're going to take out our water. Let's just put some more in. That'll work, right? So the Power Rangers go to the bridge, fight Fury. And then, um, it's going well. And then they hold out uh, this new charger I didn't remember. Uh, and Red Ranger thing. I'm like, wait, are we getting the Battleizer? Are we getting a Red Ranger Battleizer? Oh my gosh, it's time. It's time. And then it's just that weird drill crocodile thing. We got for the Black Ranger, and I'm just like, life sucks. So Steen Rage gets beaten by the drill thing. He falls down. He's dead. But then he comes back as big. They get the Megazord, and they use the down Super Drive, which I thought was going to give the Red Ranger that armor again. But he just gave them all armor, which, in my opinion, kind of reminded me of Dian Super Dino Mode from Dino Thunder, you know, where they got the spikes. 
those cool spikes. That's what it kind of reminded me of with the armor, just more metallic. And I thought it would give some to the Megazord, like, combined swords, but no. It's just the same. And I thought that sucked. But anyway, beat him. Bully and Riley are, t are friends now and stuff. And that's it. I would say it's a good episode. It's still got that tone of you meet old bully and then you become friends. Like, that was in a lot of Power Rangers. I remember only Dino Thunder at the moment, but rest assured there is more. So that is the episode. I thought it was good, nice. So now I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of Power Rangers Dino Supercharged? Do you even watch it or do you... If you even watched this, did I do a good job? I'm not even sure. Not trying to ask something out of you. But I just want to hear from you guys. Would you like me to do this again? Please let me know in the comments. So, have yourselves a good day. And once again, I'm out!